So I began to think about that more, and there was another scientist who had thought about the question of the origin of information. He was one of the early scientists who applied uh, information theory to molecular biology. He wasn't an advocate of intelligent design, but he made an offhand observation that, again, made perfect sense to me, and it, it caused another light bulb to go on for me. He said that the creation of new information is habitually associated with conscious activity. And I thought, that's right. And I also thought, that meets Lyell's criterion of a good scientific explanation. It met Darwin's criterion. They were operating on a principle called uniformitarianism, the idea that the present is the key to the past. Or another way to put it is that what we know about cause and effect uh, relationships in the present should guide what are theorizing about what happened in the past. Well, what do we know about cause and effect? We know that information always comes from an intelligence. Keyword always. Always. That's only. what we know from experience. It's the only known cause. And so that's the cause now in operation that Lyell said we should look for. That's the cause known to produce the effect in question, which Darwin said we should be looking for. So what, is, what are we trying to explain? Again, we're trying to explain the information in DNA. Bill Gates says that DNA is like a computer program, but much more complex than any we've ever devised. That's a very suggestive observation because we know from experience that programs come from programmers. We know more generally that information in whatever form we find it, whether we're talking about a headline in a newspaper or a paragraph in a book or a hieroglyphic inscription or even information embedded in a radio signal, if you trace information back to its ultimate source, you always come to a mind, either a headline writer or a scribe or an author or a broadcaster. You, you never come to just undirected processes. Information is always the product of intelligence. And so when we find information embedded in digital form in the DNA molecule, that, by the logic of Darwin and Lyell, points decisively back to an intelligent cause because we know of only one type of cause that produces information. We're looking at the distinctive effect or hallmark of intelligence in information. This has been an ATRI production.